So I'm back to do another recipe from HelloFresh. So it's this one right here. Okay. So I've got everything set up already. Let's see, I'm gonna, so I can show you everything. So I have my pan, I have a bowl right here. Um, I have my cutting board. Um, I have the ingredients here. So I have all the vegetables washed and ready to go. That's the oven. So I can be ready to put stuff here. I have the salmon pieces, which I'm not prefer. I just, I don't like this, but we don't work with it. Um, I have the sour cream. I had to get, I had to get some butter, so I have that. Um, the chives, and it had some mustard and some kind of veggie stock stuff here. So I have all of that, and I got to get my olive oil. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed to go ahead and uh, dry these off and start chopping. Oh, that's time to finish this. This is the zucchini and potato wedges back there. I think I want to add some more seasonings to this. Like, I don't like the basic salt and pepper on my food all the time. I want the next stuff. So, we'll see when we get done with this. It smells nice, but you always check, okay? To so double check on this. Your salmon should be at least 145. That's when it should be done. We're going to poke it right here in the middle. Get a temp on it. And it's not going fast enough for me. I feel like it should be going way fast. Right? But for this one, I did want to stick it on its side. To kind of just get a little bit done. Like, for me. Just a little bit. Not too long on both sides. Just a little bit. Just Tate love relationship with salmon. We, we have a tape love relationship. Ooh. Yikes. Hot. Okay. Going in. Ooh. So 
process here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move this from the pan. Alright y'all, so I have, I'm going to use this piece of salmon right here. The vegetables are behind me, so let me put a few of those onto my plate real quick first. And we'll do this. piece of salmon over here that I had kind of sitting and waiting for me. It's resting, right? So I have that piece there. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So I have it and I'm going to go ahead and drizzle the sauce over top of this piece of salmon, like so. Okay. I would have liked to have some more vegetables personally, but there is the plate. That's it. Basic, simple, I guess. So we're gonna give this a taste. Let me take a picture first, and then we take a give it a taste. All right. So y'all see the same plate, okay? Nothing different. Just wanted to take a picture. Okay. So. All right. So I'm going to go ahead in and taste it. I'm just going to taste my vegetables first. Because I would have really liked more zucchini. It's probably for two servings. So I had to save my daughter some. So she can taste it. Okay. It's zucchini with some lemon. Okay. <laughs> potatoes. It's potatoes. <laughs> I don't know if I sound harsh when I was like, it's potatoes. But I would like some more seasoning on my potatoes. This is a my fact, it didn't even say salt. But they, say, they didn't even say salt and pepper. I don't know. I put salt and pepper on mine because you saw. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna dip this in a little sauce. So I'm gonna put a little bit. See, the sauce. The sauce is good. Salmon time. Now, here's the thing my complaint on the salmon. I know my complaint about the actual protein parts, but. You saw how the different sizes were, and like the other one, it hit, it fell over because, you know, it was too thick cut this way. I feel like it should have been cut more, you know, like the flat part or whatever. But I know it's always different cuts and stuff like that. And I don't like the skin, so I gotta actually take the skin off. I don't, I don't like that. I don't know who eats the skin anyway. I don't know. That's just not me. All right, so here we go. It should be good because I mean, I cooked it, but you know, <laughs> with their little stuff. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. These lemons were really small too, but I get it. So I'm sprinkling in this lemon on the salmon and on the uh, zucchini. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little bit more chives to everything, to everything, to you know, my potatoes and everything. And y'all know I'm still about this pop of color. I don't know why, but that's just me. I thought you could use a little bit of red somewhere on this plate. I mean, the salmon's pink, but you know, it's not red. Pepper flakes, red pepper flakes. <laughs> really did good, but this one is not too bad. I mean, and this is something I can make at home myself. It's nothing different for me. So I mean, yeah, they're um, what you gonna call this? They're um, creamy Dijon chive sauce was um pretty good mm -hmm. um it's not too bad of a recipe except for i said the salmon the way it was cut it was just weird to me and it's not to me it's not equal portions if that makes sense for two people i feel like i got cheated like why your piece look bigger than mine type of thing that's just me um and so their picture the way their vegetables look and stuff and picture, mine don't look like that i feel like i got cheated out of the zucchini that's just me because like they don't they have way more zucchini on their plate but this is me being like over 50. But other than that, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It took, uh, I said prep time 10 minutes, cook 35 minutes. I can somewhat agree with that. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a, um, a hard recipe to follow. So that's what I'm saying. It wasn't hard. So that's this part of the recipe. This is, what I just said, what was this again? The salmon and the creamy Dijon chive sauce with roasted potato wedges and lemony zucchini. Sorry. Not bad. Not bad. At all. So, kudos to you on this one. Hello, Fresh. I like this one. This is really good. I can make this again. And this time, the bigger zucchinis and more lemon. <laughs> All right. So, that's all I have for you all today. Sorry, I'm still eating. I'm going to put some of this uh, sauce on my potatoes. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, that's all I have today for this part. I still have one more. A uh, meal that I have to make and I'm gonna make that one I guess tomorrow cuz I, I actually froze that meat because I didn't want it to go bad so I'll make that one tomorrow for, I guess maybe for lunch or something like that we'll see and that's it so thank you so much for joining me make sure you like comment subscribe okay and leave me some feedback down in the comment section about what you might want to see for this Vlogtober, we have a list of things we're going to do, but we can always change things up or add things in, take things out, all the good stuff. So let me know. Plus, we can also wait, always do it after Vlogtober anyway. So, yeah, let us know. All right. Thank you so much. See you in the pinch. Bye.